So in today's video, man, I'm bringing you guys the best settings to run for Modern Warfare 2 on PC. You know, graphics, movement, controller settings, all that stuff. This is also my first Modern Warfare 2 video, man. I'm so excited. And I also have a very high kill gameplay that you guys will not want to miss. I promise. The settings part will be at the end of the video after the gameplay. So without further ado, man, let's hop into this gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoy today's video, man. Bro, like, come on. Catch me a break. Is incredible. I gotta stop reloading. That's where I gotta kill. Relocating. 
UAV is bingo fuel. RTV at this time. Target area updated. Move to the hub. VTO ready to deploy. Switching mags. Yeah, VTO. Requesting close in. Target nice. box. I'm slowly slow, slow getting line. into my groove. I was in yesterday, bro. I was dropping bombs. The enemy's gaining ground. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. This. Y'all just save me. Loading. County UAV is down. Confirming next hard point. Stand right. Hostile units in the area. Our chopper back. gunner is inbound hot. We got a chopper? Now we will get back. Yeah. So. Hard point relocated. Secure the target Oh, area. I didn't itch my nose. No. Oh. Flash out. Oh, I almost had a triple right there. Taking fire. UAV on station. Changing the UAV. Our point relocating. Stand by. I see a marker. UAV overhead. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. They got under flashes, bro. The radius on these things are so big. Enemies inside the perimeter. Switching maps. We inside the perimeter. Simtex out. Reloading. UAV ready to deploy. Oh, their entire team's out back. Flash. In the middle. Locating the next hard point. Get ready. Oh. Loading. Location update. Calling flash. Changing hands. Final 30 seconds. This guy stayed in the same spot. That's... Wow. A weirdo, man. The grenade kill. Requesting recon, fly over. Copy that, UAV online and opting in. Oh, Bo, we made a way. Get mounted to this. Reloading. Gold on this. Bingo fuel. RTV at this time. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Flash on it. Wait, we're about to lose, bro. 10 seconds. Enemy UAV active. Trophy system out. I'm holding it down. We've taken the lead. Don't let it go. Hostile UAV in the area. Oh, no, we gotta get on it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We gotta get on it. We gotta get on it. Be on you guys. Be on you. 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 Oh, wait. No, I know. This is so close. This is actually so close. Oh, my God. No, no. no. Alright, we won. We definitely won. Get ready. That's 77. All right, y'all, man. So starting off with my settings, we have the controller tab. Everything's pretty much default for stick layout, button layout, all that stuff. Um, I have controller vibration off. That's personal preference. You know, you can have it on 
uh going down to my uh stick sensitivity i run 77 at this moment i'll probably change it here and there but right now i'm running 77 uh, ads sensitivity multiplier at one um you guys can copy this i didn't re i haven't really messed with this but yeah it's, it's at one um going down to my ads site behavior i have that on hold automatic sprint make sure you guys have this on automatic tactical sprint for clean movement going down to equipment equipment behavior we have that on hold uh, weapon mount activation ads melee make sure you guys have tap to reload on for the interact reload behavior uh armor plate behavior that really uh, doesn't matter right now that's pretty much for war zone but i'm gonna change it right now make sure you guys have that on apply all all right man going over to the advanced tab for the controller settings we have target aim assist on uh aim assist type on black ops aim, aim response curve type on dynamic uh this stuff is not really that important for dead zones this is pretty much personal preference but this is what i'm rocking right now you guys can use this as a base and go from there but like i said pretty much personal preference based on your controller uh going down we have auto move forward off tactical sprint behavior on double tap grounded mantle off automatic airborne mantle off automatic ground mantle off um i have no idea what this does plunging underwater movement make sure you guys have parachute auto deploy on um, going down nothing really too important here weapon mount exit delay make sure you guys have this on short um and yeah that's pretty much it for the controller tab let's head over to the graphics tab all right man heading over to the graphics tab we're on display for display mode make sure you guys have full screen uh exclusive that's by far the best uh display mode um here my gpu uh monitor all that good stuff not really too worried about this Make sure you guys have V-Sync off for both gameplay and menu. For custom frame rate limit, make sure you guys have this on 300 for the gameplay and then 60 for the menu. Uh, going down, nothing too important here. Brightness, um, I have this on 55, but that's, you know, based on your monitor. Personal preference. Uh, going down to the focus mode, make sure you guys have this off as well. All right, man, heading over to the quality tab, we have custom for the quality preset for the render resolution, 100, 1920 by 1080. For the upscaling slash sharpening, make sure you guys have the Fidelity FXCA s on make sure you guys bump, it, bump this up to 100 strength for the anti-aliasing make sure you guys have this uh sma t2x on with normal anti-aliasing quality or if you're having frame issues turn it down to low and then uh you're you're gonna want to bump up the video memory scale to 90. going down to texture resolution this is pretty much personal preference if you guys you know don't have the best pc in the world obviously you're gonna want to rock very low low or normal but since you know i have a good pc um, i'm able to run high texture resolution uh but for texture filter and a stropic she has have this on low uh nearby level of detail on high distant level of detail on high clutter draw distance on short particle quality on low particle quality level on very low bullets impact and sprays this is pretty much personal preference you guys can have this on or off really doesn't matter shader quality on medium tessellation off terrain memory on max and then make sure you guys have on demand texture streaming off this is very important that you guys have this off streaming quality on on normal volumetric quality on low physics quality on off water caustics off shadow map resolution on normal screen space shadows off spot shadow quality low spot cache low particle lighting on low ambient occlusion on off screen space reflections on off static reflection quality low uh, weather grid volumes on low for post processing effects nvidia reflex low latency on on depth of field off and then obviously you guys want to turn off motion blur for both world and weapon that's just going to give you guys a headache make sure you guys have film grain on zero all right y'all man going over to the view tab now on graphics we have 120 fov ads field of view on affected weapon field of view on wide uh these two settings really don't matter at this moment uh, first person camera movement 50 percent and third person camera movement on uh 50 percent as well for audio man i'm not going to go too much in depth you know this is obviously pretty much personal preference based on your audio setup but this is what i'm rocking for audio mix uh headset bass boost i just found this to be the best one at the moment um and then obviously you guys are going to want to tune uh the volumes based on your audio setup like i said uh, make sure you guys have mono audio on off subtitles all that stuff down here really doesn't matter pretty much personal preference so let's go over to the interface tab all right so for the interface tab man much of this stuff is pretty much personal preference i really haven't uh messed with the color filters or color palettes yet but uh, you guys are more than welcome to do that um going down to the mini map shape make sure you guys have this on square and have mini map rotation on uh, make sure you guys have all this stuff on as well and going down to the parallax effects man make sure you guys have this off this setting causes uh your game to crash so if you guys 
you know have been having issues with your game crashing make sure you guys have this setting off in the interface tab but that pretty much does it for uh the settings in modern warfare 2 man so if you guys did enjoy today's video be sure to hit the like button subscribe and turn all notifications on man i greatly appreciate it but that's all i have for today's video so have a great day man have a great night and i catch you guys in tomorrow's video baby peace